Hey, what's up guys? So you know, best here. Apple has released a brand new app for the iPhone that you can download for free from the App Store and it's called Clips. No, not those clips, but this Clips app um, is basically, you can tell from the title, is a video editing app, which is, I call it a fun version of iMovie uh, that you can get right now. And so in this video, I'm just going to be giving you a quick little tour of what this app is all about. All right, so I have the app fired up here and the first feature I'm gonna show you is probably the best feature of this app and that is the speech dictation. So basically, I'm gonna be able to speak in a video and it's gonna transcribe what I'm saying and put it in words at the bottom of the video or just really somewhere on the video. And this is cool because if you upload this to Facebook or Instagram, a lot of times people aren't in situations where they can actually have the audio playing out loud. So this is will allow you to, this is, but this will allow you to uh, have people to be able to follow along in your video without having the audio on. So there's a bubble on the top left hand corner of this app and I'm going to tap on that. And you have a few different options on how you want the text to actually show up. I'm gonna choose just one with the red background and it's going to see how it performs. Hey, what's up guys? I'm testing out this app to see if it can understand what I am saying and I am going to see how it performs right now by stopping the video by lifting up my thumb. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see how that performed and I need to hit play. Hey, what's up guys? I'm testing out this app to see if it can understand what I am saying and I am going to see how it performs right now by stopping the video by lifting up my thumb. Whoa, <laughs> okay, so it didn't get thumb right. It thought I said bum, um, that's funny. So you can see it's not perfect. <laughs> so that brings me to one thing I would like to see improve and that is the ability to be able to actually go in and edit the word. So just be able to go in and edit that one word and change bum for thumb and that would be pretty cool because it's not gonna be perfect and I don't think it will ever be perfect but uh, I wish we had that option. Now this is definitely something Apple can do because if you go into this little options here which has a lot of different little kind of uh, things you can just place on the video like I'm gonna hit this or put this right there, like this shiny spot on my forehead. Um, but I can actually go in and edit this and put whatever um, shiny uh, right there. All right, next is gonna take a look at some of the filters. So um, you have Chrome, not Google, but close. <laughs> uh, you have this ink one, which is pretty cool. I actually like this one. This is actually, actually pretty solid. Look at my teeth, yeah. Um, you have Comic Book. Okay, I see you. Um, instant uh, black and white transfer. Okay, so I really like this one down here. Um, this is pretty cool. I'm going to start recording some video uh, with this one. Now, one thing to notice that while you're recording the video, you don't actually have to keep your thumb on this button. You can slide to the left and it'll actually go ahead and continue to record and you can move your thumb off of that. So that's something pretty useful so you don't have to actually keep your thumb in one spot, especially when you're moving around taking a lot of video. All right, next up is gonna take a look at some of the other options. So these are kind of like end cars or things you wanna put in between different scenes or clips that you have. And it's gonna choose this happy birthday one. And these are actually animated. So if I hit hold to record, I'll be able to talk over this animation like this. Happy birthday to you. Now I can't sing worth a crap. Now while we're on this playback stream, you do have some options. You can turn the audio off if you want it to. You can actually trim the clip like so. Do that, hit apply it, and it'll go ahead and save it. Or you can go ahead and de delete that clip and then go ahead and delete this one because I messed up earlier before I recorded this last one. But anyway, I digress. Um, but now when you want to get back, uh, hit that little arrow button and go back to video. Now you'll be able to go back to this screen and be able to record another video and you'll add another clip. Now you can also add music from uh, soundtracks that Apple has for this app. And you can download these songs like so and put them in your clip. Or you can actually access some music that's in your um, iTunes library like so. And I'm not gonna put anything because I'm scared of copyright here on YouTube, but you can add music to all of your clips like so. And so yeah, so this is pretty much the bare bones of the app. You can do almost everything I showed you besides some of the dictation and things like that, um, just with the photo as well. So you don't have to use this only with videos. It does work with just a regular photo. Take that photo and like so, and that was a horrible shot. Uh, but now I can choose to hold to add some audio to this photo like this, and I'm gonna hit stop and not keep that. Now you can also import pictures and videos that are already on your phone just by going to your library and you can tap on one of these and add them to the movie that you're trying to make. But once you get everything all set and done and edited and trimmed, you can go ahead and hit done and then I think you can go ahead and hit that export button and then you'll be able to send this out or save it to your phone or text it or email it to somebody. And another cool feature that I can't show you right now because I don't have anybody um, else in this video, uh, but if it does recognize any faces from your friends, it'll actually go ahead and populate 
highlight them next to my face right there next to Mark and I'll go ahead and add them there so you can quickly share that with them if they're actually in your video already. So that's pretty cool. So overall guys, I mean, I think this app is free. So it's definitely worth a try if you're using the iPhone. It's not bad. Some of the navigation and just the UI could be a lot better. Now I did expect a little bit more when it comes to the facial recognition features and the filters and things like that compared to something like Snapchat, which has all of those things on lock. I don't ever put a doll face in my face, but I see it all the time. Um, but Apple, I guess they just wanted to get their feet wet with this. It's, I don't think it's definitely nowhere near the potential that it could be. Uh, but again, it's worth a try. Download it. I'll leave that link down below in the description box and check it out. And if you already use it, definitely leave a comment down below this video and let me know what you think about it. And like always, guys, make sure you do follow me on all my social media networks. Those links are down below as well. And subscribe to me here on YouTube. And I will catch you later. Peace.